So while I was looking at like piercing hacks, I found the craziest thing where someone puts fucking string. I was going to say straw. Yeah! They put string in their piercing to help it heal. I have this string in my ear, right? And the girl saw it and she's like, is that string in your ear? And I was like, yeah, like it's string in my ear. And she goes, that's so cool. Like I've never seen it. And I was like, oh, you know, like I do that because whenever I get new piercings, sometimes they start forming like a blood blister or like a keloid or something. So to heal it. It's not a blood blister or a keloid, but we know that. <laughs> Oh my god. <sighs> oh. Your piercing has a hypertrophic scar, a pressure bump. For so many various reasons it could have this, but you're putting string in there to try to counteract this. Let's let's see what's going on here. I thread a string through it and every day I'll just wet the string with alcohol or like hydrogen peroxide so it gets rid of whatever is going on there and I'll just like move the string around to get like the hydrogen or the alcohol through the actual wound and it just helps you heal faster but yeah i've never had anybody ask me that because i thought it was just normal i have one in this one too uh <laughs> imagine walking around with string in your ear and then wetting them with alcohol or hydrogen peroxide these are so far too harsh these are things that people who don't want to buy the cleaning solutions they will use hydrogen peroxide and just straight up like alcohol and then you're walking around with a string in your ear i do not recommend this piercing hack like the string itself is covered is covered in bacteria that you're just putting straight back into the ear the one thing you may think that it's helping is the fact that you haven't got like the bar in there that's going to be causing the pressure bump but as soon as the bar goes back in there it's just going to happen anyway and wearing a string that is going to shrink like your piercing tunnel, your piercing hole, so, so much to the point that you won't be able to fit your jewelry back in it. A string is so thin and also it's porous too. Jewelry isn't porous, nothing can get like within it, nothing can like grow inside of it. That's the point of jewelry is for it not to be porous because nothing is going in or out of it and your body can heal around it. And that's the purpose of a piercing. Whereas your body can't heal around a string because it's porous. Not a good bloody idea. Do not recommend a, eh? what are you doing? This is crazy talk. Don't do it. It's not gonna damn work for you. And it got like a lot of views. It got 1.6 million views. So like there's 1.6 million people out there that are like, hey, that's a good idea. I just wanna tell you that it's not. And I'm going to go through the person's tutorial of how to do this and I'll just like explain why it just like shouldn't be done. So let's do the tutorial now. So this video is going to be a few parts. So just <laughs> just, <laughs> I can't even <coughs> comprehend. I'm dying. The first part is a list of do's and don'ts that I saw from the comments and also a solution that I saw on Amazon that I'm going to try out and see if it helps with my keloid or blood bliss or whatever it is. Hypertrophic scar, just so we know. It's not a keloid, it's not a blood blister. Hypertrophic scar or a pressure bump and it's from things like putting pressure on your piercing when you're sleeping on them. I would say this person 100% is sleeping on them and also aren't cleaning them with the correct solutions. Let's see. Healing and piercing. Do this, don't do this. Use sea salt with warm water solution. Mm. No, use sterile saline solution. So go and purchase it because it is sterile. It hasn't touched anything. No one's touched it. You haven't used any of your utensils that aren't sterile to make up this solution. So just buy it and it's not even that expensive. Don't use alcohol for daily cleaning. That's correct. Use witch hazel, mm. don't do that. Neosporin ointment, piercing ointment. Neosporin, we don't bloody have that in Australia, I don't think, I'll just look up what it is. Antibiotic ointment. I mm. don't recommend putting ointments on your piercings, it won't help with healing. People think they will, but they, they don't. You really need to look at your jewelry and what you're doing, sleeping on it or touching it or bumping it, anything like that, other things that cause these hypertrophic scars um, or piercing bumps and no ointment is going to solve that. Don't use hydrogen peroxide, correct. Okay, so I fold the string in half and then I put it through, so it's like four strings in one. And then I take my alcohol prep pad. So we're just using like a sewing needle. All right. I'm gonna the needle. 
make sure you clean off that string because that's going to do wonders wiping it over with an alcohol pad the thing with the string is it's so porous there's bacteria inside of it like it can't be cleaned like do you think you can clean your fucking clothes like with an alcohol pad and then it's fine to rub all over your wounds like no that's why anything medical comes in steri packs like pouches and you pull them open because like it can't be sterile take the hydrogen peroxide needle inside Rub it out. Cap it. This is my personal hydrogen peroxide, so don't come for me. Like, you're gonna infect the whole. Okay, once it's soaked, you put it in with the eye of the needle going first. You see, this is the pointy part. I put it in from the back in first. And I'm just pushing it through. And I'm going to finish pulling this. It's going to irritate your piercing so much. All of this touching and unnecessary, like, movement. Like, oh, my God. Right? So, yeah. look, now the needle's hanging out the back. You know, you're just pulling <laughs> it's it through. Just like, <laughs> it's like a grandma tip. I'll teach you how to sew. You can bloody shove this through you. And then you literally just tie the string. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm so sorry. I get what they're trying to do and show you a tip like on how theirs works, but I just wouldn't be putting this out to the whole internet, the whole of TikTok to see how well this works because this will affect people in so many different ways. This will cause infection. This will cause people to wind up in the ER. This could potentially cause people to have those huge blow ups where their ear just blows the fuck up. Don't tie it too tight because you want to be able to move it around you don't want to move it around you don't want to be doing this but you don't want to move it around and then lastly what i should have clarified but i i didn't even notice until people started pointing it out every day i don't put alcohol and peroxide on it that's just for when i'm initially putting it in other than that i do use sea salt and water and i just spray it on unless i feel like it's getting irritated then i'll put alcohol and hydrogen peroxide to kill any bacteria that might be there it kills all the good and bad bacteria and it dries it out and it will make it so fucking hard for it to heal genuinely if you put this much effort into trying to get it to heal if you made sure you had the correct jewelry and weren't doing anything to irritate it weren't moving it like this or any of these things that this person is saying to do it would heal anyway like put this effort into doing it the right way and the piercing will heal but other than that i just spray it every day soaks up the string and like you're touching it you're moving it i'll move the string no. a little bit this one's actually doing really well. I think I could probably take it off in a few days. And that's all you do. <sighs> Definitely don't listen to them. Anyway, okay, that's crazy talk. I don't know what you're doing.